think of it like this. If your job can be explained to someone easily and if they can do it based on their explanation, then your job is most likely going to be replaced by AI. So in CAD and design space as well, there are several jobs that might get replaced by AI because work like simple drafting, annotations, converting 3D to 2D and documentation is the simplest kind of work that can be explained quite easily to anyone and then anyone can do it. And if anyone can do it, AI can do it. But you can do some of these things that I'm mentioning in this video to not only stay relevant, but also become a highly paid individual in the age of AI. In this video, I'm going to show you how AI is not a threat, rather a great new opportunity that will transform the way engineers and designers work. Now, AI models like ChatGPT and others have been a big problem. They are trained over data like images, 3D parts, text, and they simply regurgitate whatever they have learned in the form of a new image, 3D model, text-based result, code snippets, and other things like that. But in design space, this works only to a limited extent. Like in the case of computer vision models, this might work to a great extent, and this is actually working in a really great way as well that I'll explain later in the video. But in most other scenarios, this won't work. So rather than doing the work of simply replicating what already exists, AI models in engineering needs to solve new and complex challenges and problems. And that's almost always the case. Now, this ends up making AI useful in a completely different set of AI models for applications like design optimization, CAE, and CFD, and so on. Now, these models have existed for some time, and they are constantly improving, and here AI can do wonders, and it is already doing it too. Now, take the example of generative design, which is using algorithmic approach and machine learning to generate feasible design options based on provided parameters. Now, this helps engineers find the best design options, saving time in production and money in manufacturing process. Now, this same generative design approach was taken by General Motors to design its car parts to make them lightweight, essentially improving fuel efficiency. In the case of GM, they collaborated with Autodesk to create parts using Autodesk's generative design capabilities. And this was way back in 2018, by the way. They managed to create a seed bracket that is 40% lighter and 20% stronger. The reference of this complete study is in the description. Now, this goes on to show how generative design or AI is going to change design for the better. Now, generative design still needs human input as parts created with generative design are not always manufacturable and you need to figure out the best iteration from the samples created by a software based on real world design parameters a human needs to figure out the best one but it certainly does a good job of reducing material cost and making efficient design so as you can see AI here is not eliminating humans rather it's making the done work by humans smarter and better Now, another area where AI is shining and making life easier for engineers and designers is FEA and CFD simulations. Now, predictive AI is creating near instant CAE and CFD simulations. So now you can test the product directly in the design phase and you don't have to wait for the product to finish, then send it for testing and then wait for the result, which usually takes, well, hours and sometimes even days. So as the results are now generated, Instantly, this significantly reduces the design time and ensures product reaches the market sooner. Designers can design the product and get almost real-time feedback on factors like load, geometry, and based on these predictions, they can tweak the design in real time, eliminating repetitive design and testing cycles. Now, this also helps them test several scenarios, finding the best one very quickly. There is, however, one thing that still needs to be considered, which is accuracy of these results. They are generally accurate, but still these are predictions and they can be tested with CFD or FEA simulations at the end of the design process. So once the design is complete, once you are done finalizing the product, you can do a final real CAE or CFEA or CFD simulation to get the final data, which will be much more accurate. But as you can see, once again here, humans are involved. Oh my God. They are not eliminated here, 
rather ai is helping humans in making better products with access to data that is usually available only after time consuming tests now finally let's see how ai is changing the 3d printing industry for good in 3d printing computer vision based error detection is transforming the way problems are detected and corrected in the prints 3d prints usually take hours and sometimes even days and despite the best settings that operator has created and whatever the settings whatever the print standards or the environment that you put into place the prints are prone to failure sometimes the problem develops in the middle of the print and if detected the operator can stop the print and restart with correct parameters or fix the issue and continue the print but this assumes that operator is available to check the 3d prints and it's not possible at all as 3d prints usually takes hours and even days and it's not possible for a human to keep their eye on the 3d print for several hours or even days so deep learning computer vision models trained on nearly a million images is helping in predicting the errors and also correcting them in real time essentially you can train ai cameras to keep track of all the changes all the things that are happening in your 3d print and even before the print errors happen you can train the model to just figure it out beforehand and inform the operator now this was done by engineers from university of cambridge where they trained their model on nearly half a million images from several different 3d prints now these 3d prints were done with different materials and they were very accurate when it comes to predicting the errors with new materials as well the source of this complete study is also linked in the description so here again as you can see ai is only improving the way designers and engineers work with 3d prints so as you can see with these examples ai is making you a better engineer or designer and it's helping you in removing the guesswork from your design process by providing you with better and actionable data in simulations the results that are generated in hours are generated in almost real time that's a huge cost saving of electricity and man hours this saving can ultimately be used to improve the product design and time it takes for a product to reach the market in 3d printing it is saving wastage of material and electricity with predictive error detection and in the first scenario it is just generating a really good 3d part with generative design so once again here you don't need to make several different parts do the testing and figure out which one is best ai is doing the work for you so you should not be scared of ai and you should embrace it as it's going to stay for sure you can however upskill yourself and learn these new technologies like generative design point cloud cae and cfd skills and don't stick with simple work where you just need to convert 2d drawing to 3d or maybe 3d to 2d or just generating reports and documentation as i mentioned in the beginning of this video these are the things that are going to get replaced with this ai revolution first also focus on engineering foundations like gdnd material and heat transfer and recently i've also noticed that programming languages like python are becoming increasingly more relevant for engineers and designers so having at least a working knowledge of python or matlab will certainly help and of course you can always ask chat gpt to create the complex code snippets if required so that was my take on ai and design engineering space what do you think join the discussion in the comments down below and let me know if you think ai is going to help us and also let me know if you think otherwise also subscribe if you want more such videos which topic you want us to cover in the next video let me know in the description and i'll see you soon in the next one take care